age did you discover you had a passion for health and fitness? Um, well, in terms of s and I was a bit of a late bloomer. Um, always had a passion for, for fitness and just being generally fit. I, as a young kid, I, I did every sport I could, and footy, cricket, surfing, swimming, um, you name it. So, um, But I, I, got, I got a pretty bad back injury when I was 18 playing football. And um, we're talking a long time ago, like, uh, you know, in the, in the, uh, the, the 90s, early 90s. And, um, yeah, that, that was the first time, you know, as a young, strong kid um, who thought I was indestructible, that I, that I was being told, you know, you, you, it may be over for you. So yeah, right. I got told by a, um, a rheumatologist. I'd been to see everyone because I was having debilitating back pain and leg pain and, and um, nerve pain, sciatica, et cetera, that, um, you know, I was getting so many mixed messages back then, exercise rehabilitation um, and, and certainly exercise as a form of exercise rehabilitation um, just wasn't anywhere near what it is today. What were your main focus points that was really effective in your rehabilitation? I, I managed, I, I took notes on my pain and, and to be honest, so it was my own version of the Borg scale, which I wasn't aware of at the time. Um, so I just had a one to ten pain scale that I made up myself. Um, certainly not validated like like the uh, the Borg RPE scale is, but um, um, I did that. I, I obviously tracked all of my training and movement. So what exercises I was doing, um, the loads I was doing, sets, reps, timing, um, and then I and then I document how I felt. How did I sleep that night? How did I wake up in the morning? Did I have pain through the night? Um, and I just did that ongoing. Um, I, I didn't, to be honest, focus a lot on nutrition because I just wasn't really aware of it at the time. Um, and, but it was all about training and, you know, rest periods. What were some of your biggest challenges that you found working in elite sports? So you've gone from Geelong to, to doggies at this stage. Uh, was doggies, I, I understand, that was when you ran your first program at Western Bulldogs? Yeah, I, I, got a, I obviously got a bit of a taste of Geelong when Loris left and I ran the program there for the remainder of the year, but, it, you know, it was absolutely Loris's program, so I was really just the caretaker. Yep. Um, yeah, the doggies was, and I really wanted that opportunity because um, as it, Loris had done the work with the boys at Geelong, they were, they were really developed. They were under an amazing program for a number of years with him and the opportunity at the Bulldogs was a, was a really strong team that was performing pretty well but they were really they were really underdeveloped physically um and so that that was just a great challenge to go into a side that was still young um but when i compared for example their strength and power data to geelong it was like they were just miles off but when i compared running data it was pretty much the same talk us through how the the creation of body fit training came about and um you know, why is it group classes? Um, how did it become a franchise? Um, you know, take us through the, the creative side of it. Yeah, well, as I said, I started a 24-hour gym and, um, yeah, it felt like I couldn't write programs for the mainstream. <laughs> I, really, I really struggled. And, um, and I thought, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not utilising my skill set. And um, I, d- I really just wanted to find a way. And I, we used to, at Port Adelaide, we used to do these power endurance sessions in the gym with, with the players. And, um, you know, they'd have heart rate monitors on. We have live heart rate and everything. And, and, and I just remember that they loved it. They absolutely loved the training. And you're in a group. You, you, they're in their team environment. They're all working hard together. And there was high fives. And I thought, okay, you know, AFL is actually, you know, a really – awesome way to train from a, from a training perspective. If you look at how AFL players train, they're, they're really, really awesome hybrid athletes. Favourite inspirational quote or life motto? Uh, this comes from Michael Jordan. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. 